So, Christy, how was the race yesterday? <laughs> it was. It was good. It was fun in parts. It was actually like I'm gonna say this with a disclaimer that it was actually easier than what I thought it would be. But then in saying that, it took me two and a half hours to do the last eight kilometers. So clearly, it wasn't that easy. But. Overall, I think it was easy, but my time was just a little bit rubbish, but it was good. So you, do you feel a, a sense of accomplishment? Um, not as much as I thought I would. Um, I think with the time, like had I finished earlier because I was tracking for like, you know, five and a half hours at one point, I was just like, yep, this is awesome. Like, this is really good. And I would have been really proud of that. But because I only like scraped in by like three minutes, you know, it's not really all that great in terms of time. Well, of course it's not great in terms of time. You know, there was only one person that finished after me, which is rather sad, but you know, I didn't come last. So there's, there's a plus side to everything. And I came 35th in my category or my age group. But there is a disclaimer there too that I was actually the 35th out of 35 people. So, in fact, I came last in my age group. <laughs> Oops. So, how many times did you literally hit the wall and figuratively hit the wall? Um, uh, none literally. I didn't, I didn't hurt myself a fall over. I didn't break my collarbone again, Sophie. If, you, if you're watching this, Sophie, I didn't break my collarbone. It's awesome. Um, but hit the wall, yes, slightly. Only on one por portion of it. It's because, because they, well, they didn't lie to us, but the up track was different to the down track. They gave us a different track, and we didn't get a chance to walk that part of the wall, and that was the part that I probably needed the most help with. So it would have been good to have a little bit of something, something in terms of knowledge for that bit. And, uh, Is it playing, by the way? It's playing, but you see the it's hard to see your over? face. Well, why don't you like, because you're probably like zooming it in. What are you doing? Is that better? Hang that's, on. that's zooming it really in. Oh, okay. Is that zooming it out now? That's zooming it out. It's just, it's just dark because it's dark in this cab. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Um, so I light up a room, you see, so it's fine. You do. <laughs> what would you say to people who wanted to do this race? Honestly. It's not for everyone, but you know what? People always say, oh my God, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. And that, that I don't think was the hardest thing that I've ever done because it didn't break me. It didn't break me mentally, but anyone who's run a marathon knows that it's all mind over matter. Like if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Right? So I was never not going to finish that race. And I never, ever once thought this is too hard. I can't do it. But you know, I saw people on that wall that were literally sobbing like like babies absolutely crying with their hands in the head and couldn't go a step further so it just the only thing is is to get yourself mentally prepared for what's in front of you and you should be fine and train lots of do lots of cross-country training because you think it's all about the stairs and the stairs are actually I think the easy bit it's the cross-country kind of bit of it so you know that's the that's the hard bit I think it's the total kilometers afterwards yeah and then well yeah and then getting back on the wall after doing 35 kilometers and then going oh my dear god my knees are about to shatter below me so did you have any thoughts during the run that surprised you I thought about very, very random things. Actually, I just have to say props to just a couple of bands who did get me through. A little bit of Axl Rose, Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. That came at a really good time. A little bit of J-Lo, Jenny from the Block, Word Sister. Um, who else? A little bit of JT on the uh, the start of the climb. A little bit what goes around comes around. Nice work because that's like a six minute track. So get through that and you're six minutes further to the end. Um, what was your question? Random thoughts. Um, I thought a lot about urinating um, and whether or not I was going to get arrested by Chinese for police for pulling my pants down on the side of the road and then get caught doing it. Did you do it because you had to pee or just because you felt like it? No, because I had to pee. Um, and then I thought a lot about rocks too, going over that rocky part of the run. I thought about the usefulness of rocks and the fact that I don't think rocks are good for anything, except for maybe making buildings. But anyway, there should be more rocks what made. What did rocks into... ever do to you? Well, they just pommeled my feet. Like, I don't even think I have a baby toe anymore. It's just disappeared. 
it's just one big blister and it's just in, in fact I think my toenail fell off last night it kind of like caught in the sheet of my bed and it just wasn't really fun <laughs> and yet you wore high heels tonight yeah, well, I'm short. I've got duck disease. You know, where my ass is too close to the ground, so I had to wear, I had to wear high heels. <laughs> I had to wear high heels, but you know, and actually, anyone who knows me will be incredibly shocked to learn that I actually took my, my shoes off on a dance floor tonight. Can you imagine that? That is a first for me. Uh, seven eighths of the night. Yeah, seven eighths of the night, yep. I even had them off when we were standing outside on the grass in the beer garden because they were just, wasn't the right choice for me tonight. I'm impressed. Yeah. Uh, do you have any final thoughts for the audience? Um, that's too hard a question at like, what time is it? 141 as we're about to have a car accident on some freeway in Beijing. Happy times. But it's been fun. Seriously, do it because you will meet some incredible people and some inspiring people. And um, actually, final thought is, only thing is, don't judge a book by its cover. Because there's people that I just went, you know what, like, I'm going to kick that person's ass. And they absolutely spanked me. So never judge a book by its cover. That guy on yeah. the Yeah, there was a guy who had... I wonder when he finished. No, but he only did the half, didn't he? he did the but there was a dance. guy who had a T-shirt that said, what was it, fat guy on, on a, a wall. wall? On a little wall. I thought that was brilliant because I could have been fat ass on a little wall, but <laughs> I chose not to do that. But I do have to say, actually, that I saw... It was a Lululemon sort of um, thing on their website the other day that said, Chuck Norris never runs marathons. So I thought that was quite good. So <laughs> sucks to you, sucks to be you, Chuck Norris because you haven't run a marathon. <laughs> right. Signing off.